how to create an image slider on your wordpress website hi guys welcome back today i am going to be showing you how you can create an image slider in your wordpress website so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply open up your dashboard for your website that you're creating on wordpress so now you want to create an image slider you want to add a lot of images to your website to customize your website any website you have you, if it's a blog if it's a personal uh, you know website a booking website a scheduling website or maybe a store as well so you want to add a lot of images for the uh, uh, for the website and if you are a travel blog or maybe a photography blog this option really is in handy when uh, you're in such niches so you want to add a lot of images to your website and you want them in the form of a slide so you want to add an image slider it's super simple to do let's start with the process simply open up your dashboard for your wordpress and then we will simply go to plugins right here and click on add new this will open up the plugin marketplace for us where we actually find a lot of plugins for our wordpress so now i will simply go ahead and in the search bar i'm going to type for meta slider when you search for meta slider you will uh, get different sliders right here and this one the first one slider gallery and carousel by meta slider and responsive wordpress plugin you can see right here it has more than 7 lakh active installation the reviews are good as well so i'm going to simply go ahead and click on install now and it will just take few seconds to install and then this plugin will be installed and i will be able to activate it so now we can simply click on activate and this meta slider will be activated to create a photo slider in our wordpress website then we will get our meta slider right here uh, you can see i have my other plugins and then we have meta slider simply open it up so this is our meta slider where we will be able to add different images so the first step is going to be adding uh, dropping images right here we can upload up to 100 mb uh, to get started right away drag and drop your images right here so you can simply drag and drop or you can simply you know upload your images as well and then we have meta slider is uh, compatible so this is the editor so now let's check out the editor as well so we have a better idea about the editor so i'm gonna go ahead and first add images and then we will simply go to the editor so i have added few of the images from my computer in order to add it to my website so you will do the same of course you will add any images you have for example you have a photography website that you want to create on and you want to create your own slideshow and that so you will simply you know add your photography right there the images that you have taken if you have a food blog you will add your food images if you have a travel blog you will upload uh, those images as well so um, now you have uploaded the images then you will simply you know go to new slideshow if you are a complete beginner i will show you how to create a slide and then we will be able to add it to our website so to add a new slide you simply click right here add slide and then you can also upload image right here uh, from this option which is select files so i'm gonna click on select files and again show you to how to actually upload a complete folder uh, to your wordpress media so i have selected this image right here i have uploaded this image for my computer it is a product image for my website uh, let's say you have a uh, you know you are creating a store and you want to add an image or you want to display any image so let's say this is the image that i have now i have uploaded this image let's see what we can do with this so we have the image then we can add an alt text for the image and or you can actually leave it um, empty as well if you want the image to be purely decorative uh, or you can simply add alt text alt text actually helps us with seo uh, for example if i go with alt text and i add a uh, headphones so what will happen is that this will actually help me with the seo this is actually one of the techniques that we use uh, for our images or for our pages to land in the uh, search engine results so what will happen is this image will somehow land um, in the results for headphones whenever somebody will uh, you know search for the word headphones so that is how uh, we simply do that then we have the title the title for the image again you you will simply add any title you want to let's say it if, if it was a 
a product i would simply add product image uh, a title for my website then we have a caption that you can add to our images so you can simply add a caption so for caption i'm gonna go ahead and add okay so as a caption i'm gonna go with a line music is life so this is going to be a simple caption then we have a description in the description you will simply add a description for your image that you have selected where did it go you will simply add a description right here for the image that you have added so then uh, this is just one image i can ex actually go ahead and load more that means that i can simply go ahead and add more images because this is going to be a slideshow so you can add as many uh, images you want to then we have a post feed option as well then we have youtube and we have layer slide as well so these are the different layouts that we get uh, with our meta slider we have a youtube option as well so what happens is create a slideshow full of your favorite videos easily and quickly by simply adding a url to youtube site so this is really amazing we can add videos as well and we can create a slide you will simply click on the next button and it will show the next video and the next video so this is really good for businesses and for example channels like us i we can create a website on wordpress and then we can add our videos like this as a as a slideshow this so this is pretty amazing then we have post feed um a post feed simply means that we can simply go ahead and add as many posts as we want to so this is again going to be amazing for blog posts and events and woocommerce web products where you can add as many images as you want to of the product or uh, as a as a personal um, artist or as an influencer you will be able to create a lot of posts and then you can simply add them as a slide and then of course we have the simple images where you can add simple images as many images as you want to and then we have layer slide again if we go into a little detail what happens is that this is really good for your presentation wise what happens is you simply you can add animation uh website very aesthetically pleasing so this is these are the different options we can do with an image or creating a slide with our meta slider so let's say that this is the image that i went with i have added every detail now i will simply click on add to slideshow and you will see right here that my slide will be created so you can see right here this is my image slide this is just one image slide that i have created for my wordpress then we have the seo option for example you can see right here for seo we have the uh, image title and then we have the alt text this is helping us with the seo if you want to crop uh, the image you can go with center you can go with center left however you want to crop an image then we have schedule you can actually add a date to end your slides and you can simply get it uh, for pro then we have this option right here you might be wondering what is this so this is a slide customizable option that we can do like the general settings the width of the slide is going to be 700 pixels and we have height 300 we have effect fade then we have arrows we have navigation so if i want to change any of these i can simply go ahead and change i can actually change the effect as well then we have our slides option we have new sliders so these are the different uh you know uh, options we can go for then we can also add thumbnails for our slides for example if we have more than one images you can select one image as a thumbnail so once you have created a slide then it becomes really easy you simply add it to your website right here on meta slider you will be able to find the slides that you have created and then you will activate your meta slider and add this plugin to your word uh, wordpress if it's active then you are good to go and you will be able to add your uh, slides that you have created within this meta slider and you will be able to add them to your uh, wordpress website and then people will be able to check out all of the images that you have added we also have a preview option that allows us to check these slides uh, for example before uh, you upload them and before you get you you know um, make it final you can simply go ahead and preview this one this is a new option again i can create a new um, slide from here then we have a duplicate option that allows us to duplicate the slideshow that you have created on your wordpress so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to add a photo slider to your wordpress don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel